Hello there and welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen video. I recently purchased a life term bullet journal for my wife because of a promotion at my local stationery store, Reed Stationers here in Calgary. Lois Term had a promotion that if you purchased a Lois Term journal, you'd get a personal embossing for free. So I embossed Wynn's name into the Lois Term bullet journal for her. I've been writing in my journals every day for several years, and I've always used Claire Fontaine My Essentials A5 journals, either lined or dot grid 90 GSM paper. But when I examined Wynn's Lois Term bullet journal, I was impressed by the larger page count and the creamy 120 GSM paper. So I decided to get one for myself and compare it to my usual Claire Fontaine A5 journal. So let's take a look. Now there was a sticker on that cellophane from the Lois term. It says new thicker paper, pocket guide and more. And the only notebook in the world designed for the bullet journal method. So here they are. Let's take a look at the Clairefontaine first. The Clairefontaine Paper Company was founded in 1858 in France. They are located in Etival. I think that's the proper pronunciation. Etival, Clairefontaine, about 400 kilometers east of Paris in the Mert Valley. The paper of this My Essential Journal is made there, but the binding is done in Morocco. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Claire Fontaine makes many formats of notebooks and notepads. The spiral bound notepad I use for my writing samples and all my fountain pen testing is the same 90 GSM Claire Fontaine paper that you hear me announce every review. And I also have one of these spiral bound notepads that has the same paper but dividers and pockets. The My Essentials Journal is an A5 size that's 148 by 210 millimeters or 5.8 by 8.3 inches. The paper is 90 GSM ivory and is available in lined dot grid or blank with covers in red, blue, green, black, gray and Havana which is a manila envelope color. It has 184 numbered pages plus a table of contents on eight pages, and the last eight pages are perforated detachable. There is an internal sleeve pocket in the front and an expanding pocket in the back. It has a single ribbon bookmark, an elastic closure, and when you write with it, it lies flat. I paid $24.98 Canadian for this at Reed's Stationers here in Calgary. Now let's take a look at the Loish Term 1917 Bullet Journal Edition 2. The motto of the company is Denken mit der Hand, which means thinking with your hands. I guess it beats thinking with other parts of your body. Founded in the year 1917, obvious, Loish Term is a family firm now in its fourth generation. The word Leuch term is German for lighthouse. The company is based in Gestacht, which is a northern German city about three hours northwest of Berlin. The Bullet Journal Edition 2 is an A5, 145 by 210 millimeter journal with page dividers, a sticker set, and uses 120 GSM paper. Let's open it up. It comes with a merci beaucoup, thank you very much. Herr Lichten Dank from Leuch term. Signed by family members, very nice. It has a little catalog of various sizes, A4, B5, A5, B6, A6, and A7. That's a handy little guide, because I forget the sizes of all these different standards. And these are available in plain, dotted, ruled, and squared. They have planners. This is a mini catalog, I guess. Lots of planners, accessories, pencils, pen loops, etc. Denken mit der Hand. What? Why? This is all nice uh, foil stamped in a copper color. And it has an address here for bulletjournal.com if you're interested in learning about bullet journaling. And there's a inscription page, there's a key, and a page titled Intentions. Here's an index. So there's two, four, I'll say five index pages. Future log, you could use these as index pages too if you want. And each page is numbered at the bottom. And it has three different colored bookmark ribbons, white, navy blue, and gray. 
Then we come to the back of the book, which has some stickers for your bullet journaling. Of course, you're not limited to these, but these are nicely color coordinated in that reddish, copperish color with lots of bullets, lightning bolts, day of the week letters, numbers, and months, and one for the spine as well. There's a pocket at the back, which has a bullet journal guide, a little poem up front about time. It has an index and some information about bullet journaling and how to help you set up your index with different samples. Uh, future log, monthly log, daily log, morning reflections throughout the day, evening reflection, monthly reflection. If you're already a journaler, you won't need any of this advice, but there's some good ideas in here. And you can find this information online. But that's a handy little thing to have. Now, I'm just a journaler. I don't add stickers, chapters, or categories. I just put the date on where I left off writing. I write, then I stick the page number and the date in the index. The most important things to me are the quality of the paper when it comes to writing with fountain pen inks, page numbers, and an index. A pocket is nice for storing the labels I use to add the date range to the spine on my Clairefontaine journal when I'm finished with it. And also, laying flat is a big deal. And again, this is thread bound with a spine that allows you to lay the journal flat. And of course, the bullet journal is embossed on the front with bullet journal and on the back with Loish term. So, let's pull out some pages and do some testing. So on the Clairefontaine, I'm able to tear out the perforated page. I'll tear this one out, and I'm going to use my Leonardo Memento Zero Blue Hawaii uh, with the Custom Ground Architects nib, because I'm familiar with this pen and the ink. So are you, because it intros all of my videos. And I'm very familiar with this Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper as well. And we'll do some comparison with back pages. We'll find a back page here to test. First off, I'm not sure how well this will show up on camera, but the Clairefontaine is an ivory, a beautiful, warm ivory color. And of course, this one is lined by the journal I'm currently writing in. This gray cover one has dot grid on it. And I always have a blotting paper card from Niger Herbin inside, and I wrap it in my leather journal cover that my wife gave me for Christmas a few years ago. So first, the feel test. Very, very smooth paper. This is very familiar to me. And this, even though it's 120 GSM, which is quite a bit more than the Clairefontaine, this feels like it has a bit of a tooth to it, whereas this feels much smoother. Let's give the Clairefontaine a try. So I chose this pen also because it has some good feedback to it because it's an architect, so you can feel if there's drag on that paper. There's very little shadowing through to the other side of the page. There's no feathering and no bleeding at all. And the ink doesn't take that long to dry. Of course, it depends on the kind of ink that you're using. And that's why I keep a blotting paper card in just to blot up any excess so I don't get some transfer to another page. Now let's try the Loish term. There's quite a bit more tooth to this paper. The noise you're hearing is actually because I'm on the last page and you're hearing the back of the journal. But that paper does have a bit more tooth to it. Very, very minimal shadowing no bleed through, no feathering, and the ink dries fairly quickly. Let's give it a, a fast test here. So this seems to absorb the ink a little bit faster, the Loish term, whereas their Clairefontaine ink stays on the top a little bit more. I'm also gonna like take a look at the writing at an angle because this is a shimmering ink. And I am seeing, you probably don't, but I'm seeing some good shimmer and sheen from that ink, whereas the Loish term shows a little bit, yep, but it seems flatter. 
and that makes sense since it seems to be absorbing the ink a little bit quicker on the Loisterm than on the Clairefontaine. So now let's compare the features in a spreadsheet. As you can see, the Loisterm has the extra size and features. The extra two ribbons, stickers, and a bullet journal guidebook are added to the extra 22 pages with their extra weight and for an extra $15 Canadian. That 60% increase in price might be worth it depending on your needs. I certainly like the feel of the cover uh, and of the thicker paper and the book overall. Uh, it's a lot heftier and feels a lot nicer in the hand compared to the Clairefontaine, which has a heavy cardstock, uh, matte finished, textured uh, cover and doesn't have the spine bend of the Loisterm. I'm not sure which one of these I'm going to choose. I think for the extra $11, US that you pay for the Loisterm, you are getting a lot of features. Uh, it depends on whether you value those features or not. The extra 22 pages is nice and the cover is very, very classy and feels very nice, nicely bound. So I'm going to write with this Loisterm for a while. It'll come down to whether I like the paper in the Loisterm better than the Clairefontaine. The Clairefontaine, I'm going to go through this journal a little bit quicker than this one, of course. Uh, with 22 less pages, but the ivory color of the pages I really really like on the Clairefontaine journal and certainly the smoothness. This is really really nice and smooth on both my hand and on the the nib on the page, but I'll know when I go through an entire well this is going to take me quite a while to get through so I'll know by the time I get to the end of this journal whether I'm going to purchase another one uh, to replace it or whether I go back to the Clairefontaine. Uh, you'll have to make up your mind as to which of the features that you like or you dislike. They're both excellent, excellent papers, I must admit. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I made this.